Well, there are plenty of people on our university who would rather see us censored and our free speech silenced. And a comedy event of all events. So I'm here with Turning Point USA. We flew all the way to Connecticut. We're in the rain and they canceled our show last minute. So we're gonna find out what's going on. We're gonna go confront the lady who canceled yes. our show. We'll and we're gonna more. find out uh, why we can't do a comedy show. We got the flights, the hotel, the rental car. We're walking around in the rain. The show's supposed to start in two hours. And they said, oh, the show's not happening. We're gonna figure this out together and maybe she wants to talk to us or maybe she does not want to tell us why she canceled Turning Point Yukon. And when did you find out the show was canceled? Uh, about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, the, so right now it's about 5 p.m. and the show's supposed to be at 7 p.m. So they gave no notice and no alerting us. And that's not cool. I mean, First Amendment, freedom of speech, laughter, comedy, who would take that away from the students? Who? Who's lying? We're gonna push the call box. Did you say why she was leaving early? Uh, she had a family issue at home. Oh. Yeah. This is comedian Kayvon, and uh, we're here to do the comedy show tonight. Uh, yes, Jess is gonna find you a different venue. Okay, but we're just trying to figure out, we already did the advertisements. We flew up from halfway across the country, and didn't they do a contract? They did, but um, the contract is null and void at this point. How did it get null and void? We do these things ahead of time. I spent thousands of dollars on my crew, my flights, my hotel rooms, everything. Uh, I'm sorry, where did you fly in from? I flew in from Florida. Okay, well, Jess said that she could find you another spot. But the question is why? We've already done the flyers. We've already promoted Yukon, not another spot. But uh, we weren't given the uh, information correctly, so the, um, the contract is no. Why would we cancel a whole comedy night? I only received a contract from Jess and all she wrote on there was comedy, and I didn't get any information about what the show was, so I don't have the proper information, and I apologize, but in my contract, it says that I can cancel for any reason, and I apologize, but it's canceled for tonight. But I'm trying- I don't have the proper staff, and I just can't do it. What more did you need to know? It's just, it is just a comedy show. We're not doing anything else. I understand but I was not informed of what the comedy show was or who it was or what was occurring. And all Jess wrote was comedy show and I didn't have the proper information. And I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to take that up with her. What was shocking about a comedy show? That's what it is. Listen, I understand that you're confused, but I explained it to the other man involved and if you have a problem, you're more than welcome to take it up with my lawyer. But I can null and void my contract for any reason. So then what's your That's reason? Only... I don't know your reason. I, to... I told you the reason. I wasn't given the details of the comedy show. Why didn't you call I me? Given... I can I give you have your number. What details do you need for a comedy show? I don't understand details of a comedy show. I've never heard that before. I would have liked to have known everything about what was happening. I assumed that Jeff was renting my space and that's not what actually was occurring. So I apologize. I would be more than happy to have you take this up with my lawyer if you would like. But as of right now, this is where I stand. But why do you need a lawyer involved in a comedy night? Like this is for students. This is not for you. Are you even going to come to the comedy show? I don't need to be there. This is not about me. I don't have a problem with your comedy. Nobody I does. I have a problem with my contract and the way that the contract was presented to me. And that's something that you'll need to take up with Jess who signed the contract. I don't understand what the contract has to do with a comedy night. Like that's like nitpicking. I'm not nitpicking, but I don't actually have to argue any of this with you. This is not an argument. This is why did I fly halfway across the country? We had a room, the students were excited. I've performed at UConn before. We've already done this. Why are you in the way of this? Where have you done it? I have performed at the University of Connecticut. That is the school you represent, right? Where? How do you not know that? Didn't you do your research? It's not about you. What's wrong with the contract then? since it's just about the contract. Maybe we can initial it right now. We're, we're already in Connecticut from Florida. Can you imagine? I can, but you have another show tomorrow night. Is that correct? We didn't fly here today for another show tomorrow night. They paid a deposit. They filled out a contract. They had the room and you're canceling it in the final hour. That's not what 
the contract was. Did you think it was going to be balloon animals or you thought it was going to be juggling? I mean, what does it matter? We're not doing anything. Well, because if I don't have the proper staffing or the proper everything in place for an event of that magnitude, then I can't have that event. I don't know what magnitude we're expecting. We're expecting about 50 people. You can't handle an okay, event. And, and I, I signed a contract for 15 to 20 people. Okay, we could have cut I them off at 20. Have the staffing in place for that magnitude of event, sir. Okay. So I apologize, but the contract is void. How about this? We cut off the attendance at 20 people. That fulfills your magnitude. I can't do that. Why? I don't have the because I don't have the staffing in place. Okay? It seems to me you're highly interested in wanting to just cancel it instead of try to find a way to make it all work, make the students happy, smile, and do your job. Right, but I can't do my job the right way. We don't. Unless people are transparent and do what they're supposed to do the correct way. The students are transparent. They're going to have a get together. I'm transparent. I'm going to tell it some jokes that are family friendly. And you're transparent. Mm -hmm you're gonna cancel it without just having the show. I'm gonna cancel it because what needed to get done didn't get done and Jess knows it. The contract said that Jess was doing a comedy night with 15 to however many people. Perfect. And that it was Jess. Perfect, and did you know that at comedy nights, sometimes they have a special guest comedian pop up? Like that happens at all the comedy clubs, Dave Chappelle will pop in. <laughs> Come on. That happens. I'm not going to argue with you. If you would like to call my executive director and argue with her, you're more than welcome to. Would you like her phone number? That's fine. It's if you would have asked and hurt you in any yeah. way, shape, or form. Well, this causes damages. what it is. This causes damages. What kind of damages? I'm sorry. We have three staff members here who took the day off of work. They all flew a day early to Connecticut. We have an extra night of hotels, extra day of meals. This is not convenient, all because of a staff you couldn't get a hold. We could have got a $10 staff member to come on over and stand by the door, whatever you needed, but you didn't want to go with that route and make something work. Your first reaction was really cancel. Then who is it? You really should have been taken care of. You know, you should have had somebody look at the contract and had that taken care of. Don't have Fine. a student fill out the contract. Students are learning their way and your job is to guide them, help them. Hey, in the future, do this, do that. I had no idea. That's the point that I'm trying to get across to you. She said it's only a contract issue and had just filled out the contract exactly perfectly. We could have totally had it. She would have loved it. I'm sure that's the truth. <laughs> you're, not, you're not buying it? No. Yeah. I'm not buying it. Not buying it. It's funny because that's, that's not what all she said to me. She said uh, she wasn't sure about the content of the uh, comedy, which is funny enough. He was here on UConn years back. Yeah, so, 2017. I mean, also well known. You can just go on YouTube and look them up. If you're unsure, then find the answers that's why we have the internet right yeah and then the other reason was uh she asked us what our partnership was it's like oh we're tpusa we're partnered with the students for israel on campus yeah we're an agency that supports israel. the jews right that's why we're here sure. we're just getting a comedian sure. on campus to bring people together and have she a laugh. thought it was going to be right. just doing a show for herself and right. her friends like with her own microphone by herself and i said that's what it is i'm going to come up and do a special guest Appearance the way Dave Chappelle would pop in and she right. laughed that I compare myself to Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle will pop in <laughs> <laughs> That was bullshit. Damn it. God damn I'm trying to be funny Can't have that around here. Yeah <laughs> Well, let's go to the next venue. It looks like right. these guys activated very quickly and yes. we're gonna be in a lunchroom somewhere And that's fine. Actually, no. So we just got news the Catholics next door oh, the welcomed Catholics. us in so oh when yes. the Jews kick you out, the Catholics, they let you in if you're a good boy. <laughs> All right, we'll be at the Catholics. And what they do is they change venues so many times that the students don't find it. And it'll be probably like 12 of us, but we're going to make the most of it. So. That's right. Here we go. And I was told we have Persians already here. Persians? <laughs> Two. Okay, that's good. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you. I love it. My dad is Persian, just like these families. You're Baba Iranian. Baba Jun Iran. My dad's from Iran, so he's Persian. My mom is Scottish. I'm very Pavish. Yeah. <laughs> you, you like school here? Is it good? No. No. <laughs> Dude, you got a great laugh. What's your name? My name is Theodore. Theodore. That is an old ass name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Where's your girlfriend? That's why you sit that far apart now, isn't it? Look. <laughs> 
What do they call TPUSA? A hate group. They think that, you know, we hate minorities and people of color, but oh, I always I say, like we're not a hate group. We love our country, we love our rights, we love our fellow citizens, oh, and sure. many of us who come love the Lord. And you could be of any skin color, of any social economic background, of any gender, and you can come in and we will welcome you with open arms because we want people to be involved. Laughter is the best unifier, although obviously they are not a fan of that. <laughs>